You know, a lot of us carry their phones in our pockets and talk to faraway family on their tablets. You might even be watching us on one of their devices. But workers at the Towson Apple Store say that they want a fairer shake from the trillion dollar tech giant. They're the first Apple workers in America to agree to a union deal with the company. WMER 2 News' Jack Watson spoke with one of those bargainers tonight. Jack? Right, Kelly. A union represents about 100 workers at the Towson Mall Apple Store. It authorized a strike in May after a year and a half of negotiating, and this would avoid that. One employee has worked there about five years and says this is a deal they can build on. This is, this is a big moment. It's definitely a big moment. Eric Brown says getting a job at Apple in Towson was like a dream come true. After starting in 2019, he tells me the pandemic brought to light how little a voice he and other workers had there. Um, there were a lot of decisions that were being made at the corporate level uh, that was happening to the store level. Um, we felt like we should have had a little more input on that. Morale was like super down, uh, especially those early days of the pandemic. They unionized in 2022, and on Friday, Brown and the bargaining team reached a landmark agreement with Apple. It's a long process, but we are the first that Apple recognized in the in the United States and actually came to an agreement with and I think we got a contract that we feel is both fair to us as the union and as for the company as well. Brown says workers did not lose any benefits during the negotiations and among the key points of that three-year contract a 10 percent pay raise over the contract's life, starting pay increases and better schedules including for part-time workers for whom Brown tells me there wasn't much flexibility before. The Apple negotiations kind of are taking place in the context of a number of other major unionization efforts um, that have been ongoing for really years at this point. Andrew Jaya is a University of Baltimore law professor. He called the deal a huge first step which can serve as a benchmark for potential union deals at other big name stores and at other labor active Apple locations. I think the, the employees at stores like up in New York will look at this and say, okay, here's here's a, a pattern for us to follow and we, you know, we, we can target, you know, what, what they got down in Towson. I reached out to Apple itself for a comment on the deal. They did not reply in time for this story. For Brown, if his fellow workers approve the deal, it'll be a rewarding finish. So to see this all play out, it's, it's very satisfying. It's almost like a, a sigh of relief. There's still work to be done. We still have to work to ratify this contract, but being able to, to step away from the table and shake hands at the table and get to this point is very, very uh, relieving. Well, I'm told 50% plus one of those who vote on the deal are needed to ratify it. The vote is next Tuesday, August 6th.